Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I'm coming to you with a brand new tutorial. Uh, this is going to be using the software Pub Coder. Now, that sounds a little bit different than what I've normally been doing, but we are about to release a series and actually even a new website on creating ebooks, and specifically, we're going to be creating children's books to start off with. And what I wanted to show you was how you can create some really nice uh, interactive children's books and apps. And with using PubCoder, you don't have to write any code at all. Uh, quickly, I'll just show you this one little thing I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, show you a preview here. Now, what I have here is a simple little character, our little cat and the fiddle. So I'll simply click on him and I can drag him around. And I'll see if I can get him to lock into place here and I'll just let go. And he's locked into place. Now, that seems rather simple, but if you're anything like me and you've ever tried to program this in, let's say a program like Flash or Adobe Animate, uh, it's a little complicated and there's not a lot of tutorials out there on it. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you exactly how PubCoder works and how you can build something like this without writing a line of code. So I've got the same little document started up here. And what I wanna do is I'll select my cat and then I'll simply come over here to the right and select interactivity. So I'll say on touch down. All right, let's add a new action. I wanna say drag object, okay? Now, by default, drag object is set to self, which means this particular little object, which is the cat. And we want to go to the next line, force bounds of the object, which means, well, we don't want it to go outside of a certain area. So right here, this is called image one, uh, the whole background. So what I'll do, select drag object and I want to set this to image one, which is our background, meaning I don't want it to be dragged outside of that area. All right. So it's looking for us to add a drop zone. Where do we want to drop it? So for that selection, I'm going to make it image two. And next actions. And we'll double click on edit actions. And we'll add in a new action. The first thing I want to do is switch the image. And I want to switch image to, and I want to switch that with a different image. So I'm just going to choose this from my assets library. And I'll select the cat drag PNG and fade duration. I basically have that set to zero seconds and I could also add an audio, but I'm not going to do that right now. So add in a new action. And this one I'm going to do hide object. And I want that to be self. We'll add another action. And because I made the cat a little bit smaller, what we're going to do is scale the object. So I want it to be self. And I'm going to write this over 1.5 seconds. All right. So now if we test this, we should be able to click and drag this around, drag this down, and it snaps into place. So that is just a quick little demo of how powerful this software is. We didn't write a single line of code, but we were able to just add in a nice little drag and drop. So maybe we can start adding things onto this. For instance, if we drag it into place, maybe the cat will start playing violin. Maybe when you first click on it, you can hear the cat even go meow or something like that. But the awesome thing about using PubCoder is it allows you to think. You're not 
bogged down trying to program. No disrespect to anyone who likes to program this type of thing. But if you're a illustrator or artist or just a writer like I am, you want to just create and keep moving forward. And that's what Pub Coder allows you to do. So if you'd like to hear more about this program, I'm going to be doing a free webinar on Wednesday, actually tomorrow. And I'm going to be showing you how to create eBooks and apps, how to do things like read aloud books and things like that, and how you can have these set up in no time, maybe a day or even a weekend, you can create these awesome interactive children's books and apps and place them on Kindle or iOS or Android. And what I'll be doing tomorrow is over the one hour webinar, I'm going to show you enough information that you could actually go and download the demo and create a simple book. So simply go to bigblockbooks.com and you can sign up for the webinar and we're going to be showing you lots of fun things and having Q and a sessions and you'll see exactly how awesome this software is. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Hopefully you liked this video, and if so, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.